Hey y'all, welcome back to the GG Outdoors channel. Today's video, guys, we're going to talk about the accessories that I switched out on my Matthews FX. And the reason why is I didn't like what came on there. Okay, originally in this video, I was going to show myself actually putting all the stuff on and talk about it, all that stuff. But that was two and a half hours ago when I started this thing. So we're just going to talk about the old accessories that were on there and what I switched over to and why. Okay? Because... Friday, I'm actually going to make the Matthews FX shooting video on my birthday um, in the morning. Uh, get out and have some fun shooting bow and arrow. And then that afternoon, me and Mamie 98 are going to go out to eat or do some kind of stuff for my birthday. So, this was kind of fun. So, this is what it looks like now. Okay. A little bit different from the original way that I had it. Alright, so what we're going to start out with is... I switched out the stabilizer to a PSE stabilizer. It was an old stabilizer. A lot of this stuff I had on different bows and I just put it on here. Okay, stabilizer. I really like this. It looks like a limb saver one. It's actually a PSE style stabilizer. It's camouflage. The one that was on here originally was the big heavy black one that actually pivoted back and forth and I just said, hey, I want to switch it out. And so I did. The next thing I switched out was the sights okay this is the trophy ridge mist three pin sight you guys can get it at walmart for like 14 dollars and it actually replaced this site right here this little red dot single pin pendulum site okay the reason i switched it out is actually when i got this last month or the month before i actually did go out and shoot it I couldn't hit anything with that sight, okay? And so I said, you know what? I'm going to throw this on here for right now. It's a little three-pin sight, and that's what we're going to go with on here. Now, the original arrow rest that was on here was this Cobra flipper style rest. Do you guys see the shrink tube right there? It's wore out. So I decided just to put on this sight, or this arrow rest right here. This thing's real bendy, like, it's just, it just moves a lot, and I don't like it. And this actually is a used sight that came in a little archery thing I bought at a pawn shop with a bunch of other stuff in it for archery, guys. And so, I decided to keep this one as a backup, and if I ever want to replace the shrink tube, I can, just by cutting it off and putting your shrink tube on here. But for right now, guys, we're going to go with a ambush style uh, arrow rest right here. Okay, an ambushed out brush rest, like full containment rest. And the arrow actually fits in here really, really well. And the reason I went with this is when you put one of these things on, there's not much adjusting that really needs, sorry, that really needs to be done. Okay, and I leveled it up real easily. So I put it on here. And it's actually really, really straight on there. And... I keep it in the shelf. I tested it with the arrow. You know, the arrow, the, um, oh my gosh. Yeah. I put this thing on here to prove that this, this is square, the bow square, that's what it's called, the bow square. I know what I'm talking about. I'm also really tired. So I put it on the bow square, squared everything up, to make sure that it was, uh, level and everything and ready to go. Okay. Um, the next thing I switched out was the arrow quiver. This is an Allen arrow quiver, an Allen Terminator arrow quiver, or Intimidator arrow quiver. I can't remember. It was $11.99 at Dunham Sports. There's actual purple paint on here, and why is that? Because this came off of Mamie 98's bow. She wasn't using it anymore. And the, the arrow quiver that I have, I really like, and it's a really good quiver. It's a quickie quiver. It only holds three arrows. But... When I got this from eBay, you'd lock it in on the the little quick attach quiver thing, and it just rattle and rattle and rattle. And I couldn't figure out why it just was loose. Nothing's loose on here. Everything's really tight and solid. So I figured I would switch that out too and use this as a backup. I guess this is going to be one of those videos where I hit everything off the metal shelf right here. And again, these arrows just fit really, really well in here. Oh my gosh. 
fit really, really well in here. And plus, it gives me the opportunity to hold way more than three arrows if I choose to. Okay. Um, I have to shoot this with a release. The release I'm currently using because in order to change this draw length even half an inch like I want to, I believe I have to buy other modules to go in here. And I don't have the extra money to do that. And when I draw this thing back, believe it or not, it is... It's shootable for me, but it's almost uncomfortable. But I can make it work because I used a shorter release, the True Fire Patriot release. We're going to pause this. I'm going to stand up and draw this bow for you guys and get out of the way of everything. Let me put all this stuff up real quick, get it out of my way. I got all my archery toolboxes down here. Get it out of my way so I can stand up and I can just show you guys what I'm talking about. So, here we go. Hey all, so I just got everything put up, putting on my release here. And this is only a $20 release. You guys can get it Academy Sports, Walmart, wherever. I like it because it's a shorter caliper release. I have some longer ones. But, let me put this arrow in here and show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. When I draw this thing, these bullet points from Alan do not like to say it's screwed in. So when I draw this thing, right? That is actually right where I want it to be. It is comfortable. Normally I like a little bit more bend in my arm. But that fletching is right in the corner of my mouth. Okay. And if it was just a smidge longer, it would be super uncomfortable to shoot. Because it's almost just half an inch too long. But I can shoot it really well. So, let's go from this side here. Normally I like a little bit more bend in my arm whenever I do this. But that is just to that point where it's almost too long for me, but it is shootable. I think this thing's set at 50 pounds. Um, I mean, I shot it just fine the other day. It's just, I feel like, I feel like this arm's just going straight out like that. But other than that, here's the little upgrades I did to it. Sorry about this video, guys. I am tired. My back's hurting. I've been messing around with the bow for like a couple hours to get it set up. I will do a shooting video for you guys on Friday, on my birthday, as a way to get out and do some shooting and something different than the airsoft stuff. Do I care about the purple paint? Not really. This was on her bow. We painted her bow pink and purple. Um, and actually, hey, Mammy98, yeah. can you get your bow and I'll show it off on camera? You want to talk about your bow while we're making this video? What we did to it? And the one thing I like about this quiver real quick is just like the other one, it is detachable. You unscrew this screw right here, and then it just slides out. Put it back down, and it slides like this, right on there, real easy. So this is what Mamie 98 bow looks like now. Pink and purple. We hand painted it, and then I clear coated it. But we got one spot right here where the, um, where the, thing the quiver connector was but she wanted a pink and camouflage or a pink and purple bow so we camouflaged it and what do you think about it it's not perfect but i like it you like it yep there you go all right y'all so here's my video it didn't turn out really the way i wanted it i was gonna um you know show you guys how to put all the parts on and do that, but after I got messing with it, switching out sights, switching out air arrest, oh, I like this air arrest, oh, I don't like that air arrest, oh, I want this quiver, oh, I don't want that quiver. Um, you know, quickie quivers are really, really good quivers, but this one, for some reason, was just real wobbly in there, and everything was tight, but you could just take it and it just pull the bow back and you just feel it shake. So that's why I took it off. Um, 
I've been shooting the Allen, um, or the Carbon Express, sorry. Carbon Express Terminator Hunters out of there and it seems to shoot just fine. So y'all remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.